Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mad as a Goat. Today I want to address something that I've seen a lot in videos and music and stuff like that is the broad generalization of saying I hate the world. I don't hate the world. There's nothing wrong with trees and animals and all the nature and all that that's fine. I don't I don't mind any of that, you know, a nice creek with, you know, some long grass is cool to me. I like that sort of thing. Not a problem there with the world. The problem I have is with society. A lot of people don't make the distinction. When you say the world, to me, you're including everything. And everyone. Now, I I don't hate, but I dislike qualities in people. You know, I talk a lot of trash, and I find that fun. I think it's actually healthy to be able to talk trash. You know, and be able to take criticism, and be able to take a joke, and be able to just enjoy. I don't think it's healthy to be the kind of person who locks up everything they want to say to someone, and pretends and puts on a fake smile and all this, and goes along with the, you know, game, and just does what everyone wants of them, and only complains, you know, when they're not around, and da-da-da-da-da-da-da, and pretend niceness, and pretend politeness, and pretend cr political correctness. And you know this, you, you know people who have those sorts of opinions like these idiots who say that, uh, you know, boat people should just go the fuck home, you know, like that's the best option for them, yeah, get shot at. Um, yeah, you're, you're really thinking outside the square there, you bloody simple-minded fuck. You know, just being completely intolerant, but when they have to be politically correct, they change their ways. I don't like to change what I think and what I say and what I do and how I act. I don't like doing that, I don't even do it at work. I modify. You have to tone things down. I can't be saying fuck to the residents and whatnot. I can't be doing some sort of horribly immature joke or, you know, like doing that rant I did on Roger Elliot or Elliot Roger, whatever his name is, to the elders is probably just going to piss them off. So, you know, it is modified, but I don't change what I believe in. They often tell me that I should lie to the residents, people I respect, I don't want to lie to them, that I am of their belief. You know, I'm Christian, I'm Catholic. I'm not Christian or Catholic. And I'm going to end up hurting their feelings or disappointing them because they're going to say, oh, you're Catholic, do you know about this? And I'm going to be completely lost because I don't know and I'm actually just not into it at all. So I think it's better just to be upfront and say it and then you can share your experiences in life. You can hear from your elder and they'll hear from you and you bring it together and you fucking learn something. No political correctness, no argy-bargy bullshit. If you just fucking talk to someone like a human being with a little bit of decency, that goes a lot further than all this political correctness and, you know, anti-bullying kind of talk. You know, I am of the belief that, you know, back in the day, before our generation, before the whole mediation idea, the whole, um, what would you call it? It's basically just like pseudo-psychology shit of talking things out is just horse shit. It doesn't do anyone any favours. A lot of people are making comments like, this generation's fucked. Well, we need a beating. You're gonna get beat up in your life. If you haven't been beat up, there is going to come a time that you're gonna get beaten up. It's a part of the human experience. You know, you can't agree with everyone. You can't just pretend and just hide things. You might just fucking hate someone. And you don't know why, and that person hates you as well. Sometimes It sounds like something out of a cartoon or a film, but some people get together and they fucking hate each other regardless. Full stop. They might have everything in common, but they just don't get along. And you don't mediate that bullshit. They let them figure it out. We're humans. We know how to communicate with each other. We know how to be responsible. Stop pulling it aside like they have no fucking brains and can't figure shit out. Some people need a fight. That's just what it is. They have a struggle in their life and they overcome it. Some people are just like that. You watch that, you moderate that and all this, but you don't just push it aside like nothing has happened and just say talking is going to fix everything. People used to get their asses kicked all the time back in the day. You know, it was a common thing. People didn't even go, ooh, at a fight. They went, oh, they're fighting and walked past it because it was just a common thing. 
You know, it just happens. Some people need an ass kicking. You know, you can really kick someone into line. That's basically what the idea was. And a lot of that generation, you know, they turned out to be workers and responsible and, you know, very, a lot of people would say old school, but very functional old school. They weren't closed minded or anything like that. And that's like, you know, my parents' generation sort of thing. But this generation is all argy-bargy and bullshitty and crybaby and they can't handle a little bit of criticism. Oh, you're criticizing me. The world's meant to be perfect. The world isn't perfect. That's what's so great about it. I love that there's just fuck things in the world and there are great things in the world. You have an absolute full spectrum of experiences. Not all of them are going to be good. Some of them are going to be fucking debilitatingly horrible. That's fucking reality, okay? You can't hide from that. You can't pretend like everything's always going to be okay. And you can't let it just steep on your mood swing out about it. You're allowed to grieve. You're allowed to get mad and all this. But people just hang on that shit. Have you noticed that? Certain people just hang on shit. You know, oh, like fucking five, eight, whatever years ago, I didn't get a good enter score in VCE. That's such a problem. No, that was like then, this is now. That's got past it, I'm over that shit. You know, I was a PCA for a year or whatever. Over it. It's no longer, it's just not relevant anymore. People just hang on shit. Oh, my life sucks. If you're really that worried about how much your life sucks, you'd do something about it. Me included, all right? So, yeah, you can't turn around. Oh, well, your life didn't turn out so great. I'm content. And that's good enough. People think they need opulence and they need the most of everything, you know? It's cool to be a dude and have three chicks and, what, you can't communicate with one? You can't get it done with one? Jesus Christ, is it because you prematurely ejaculate or something? Oh, no, he lasts ages. Well, that's nice. They lie for you. Anyway, you know, it just... <laughs> It doesn't stick in me, it doesn't piss me off, it's just disappointing. I'm not mad at society. I'm not mad at the world. I, I just mad at aspects. Certain aspects get me mad. Injustices, you know, just that's the worst one, I gotta admit. When it comes to mind, when I gotta list them injustice, and I get stuck on that. Because that it, it masquerades at so many fucking levels and so many different ways that it just. You get pissed off because it's like you can't get away from it. It's fucking everywhere, you know? And there's... People do bullshit. They cry about things. Oh, like people tell me all the time, you've got to quit smoking and drinking, you might die. We're all going to die. Deal with it. Ooh, I might be dead before you. Ooh, I could be fucking dead tomorrow. I could have a heart attack in my sleep. I could... A lung could collapse or something. I'm not scared, I'm just... That's reality, man. That's why you do what you do. What I do is I make videos, I go to work, I listen to music, and I'm pretty fucking content, you know? I can't complain, really. Roof, food, what the fuck am I going to... And internet. God, these people with their internet, and they're still like, I have nothing. All I have is, like, you know, a portal to the whole world, and that's fucking shit. Uh, my fucking computer, I only have a Pentium 2 processor. Yeah, what the fuck ever. Whinge and crying little bitches, you're not fucking depressed, you're not gonna kill yourself, just shut the fuck up. Alright, I get annoyed, I, you know, I've had a family member, and I'm gonna say this, and it's blunt, and it's horrible, but I'm of this opinion, I had an elder sister who killed herself, right, jumps in front of a fucking train, like, really, were you, was it life just that hard. Oh, I can't handle it. I have to go. Uh, dude, I've thought about killing myself. Every time I even think about it, I just think at the end of it, like, fuck that. You're just letting everyone win. Oh, I'm just gonna leave a legacy of being trampled on. Well, fucking well done to you, you fucking idiot. And I'll say that you're a cunt. You know, I get pissed off at people in my family who kill themselves. You know, fuck you. You know, so fucking selfish. Oh, but it's a mental illness. Well, fuck them. Fuck them. I don't give a shit. My mum killed herself, drank herself to death, so get fucked. They don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about them. I get mad at that. It's injustice to be so narcissistic and to push everything else. I could have been a lot more different if I had the traditional upbringing. Maybe there's a bit of light to that. I won't fucking know because I didn't have that shit. Fucking bloody hallways and fucking drunkenness and shit. Piss me the fucking hell off. You're so fucking important. Fuckers. 
Yeah. You get pissed off at this shit, and everyone does. And this is a time when you should be pissed off. You know? But don't linger on it. I'll think about this now. In two minutes, I'll be fucking on my computer completely elsewhere. Like, I'm already halfway just done with it. Like, so what? Fuck them. Yeah, that's, I just leave him in the dust. You're gonna leave me? Well then, fuck you. Yeah? It's different when someone dies of old age or something. You know? Because it's not completely self-inflicted. It's a consequence of life and it is sad. But for me, you're gonna kill yourself? Well, fuck off. Fuck you. You know? Just fucking shit on my head while you're at it. Cunt. Fucking Jesus. That one really gets to me. I didn't do it, okay? I'm called a fuck up every day. I'm called a dickhead. You know, no one takes me seriously. I'm just a fucking walking joke. And you know what I did? I fucking rolled with that. What the fuck ever? What makes me so important, huh? What makes my decisions and my life so important that, you know, people who care about me have to be without me? Fuck you. Fucking no sympathy for you cunts, motherfuckers. Kiss my ass. I think it's not a mental disorder, it's just narcissism. Someone in the... Uh, <laughs> pussy. Fucking live with life. People live in Sudan and shit. Their family members get killed right in front of them and you... Uh, <laughs> but no one likes me. No one likes me. Look at, look at my videos. How many people do you see in my videos? I've had like one feature. Well, you know, two, but one didn't get on this channel, but whatever. Two people, and me, three people in total, went into contributing this. So, if I can make videos, if I can go to work, if I can just be content, then why the fuck can't you be content with what you have? There's people who are homeless who are content. Think about that shit, I've met homeless people who are like, you know, it, it just fucking is what it is. And you just fucking get through it. Thank you. Fuck. And I'm going to come across as a cunt in this episode. I don't give a shit. I said the truth. No argy-bargy bullshit. I didn't fucking bracket everything. I got specific. I went everywhere with that. But everyone's too scared to deal with reality. I hate the world because reality's hard. Fucking get over it. You know what happens when you get over it? The worst outcome, you go mad. What do you do with that? You turn it into creativity. Here's my rants. I'm mad. I'm fucked. I don't hurt anyone. I don't bother anyone. I stick to myself. And I'm creative with it. Make videos and shit. You might not like it, but it's better than, oh, I'm gonna kill myself, I'm gonna kill others. Oh, I didn't get laid. A bang, bang, bang. A bear, put your guns down, put your fist up at least. You fucking pussy, that's another one. Fucking guns. Fuck guns. Anyone who uses a gun, fucking pussy. Full stop. I'm sorry, I have to add this in there. I, I've never said this, and it has to be fucking said. I'm sorry. If you can't fight with your fucking fist, fuck you. You know. <laughs> Fucking pussy shit. I get my gun. I, I drive by. I fucking drive. I'm so fucking scared. Ugh. Poofters. Come, f come to my door. Fucking, we'll go on the front lawn and fucking. That's manly shit right there. All right. That's another thing. AK-47. Uh, you know, F M F F P Russia. What the fuck his name is? I don't give a fuck about that idiot. Dude, put him up. Okay. Then impress me. Do some MMA shit. I don't care if you do that weird humping thing they do all the time, which I, I don't see how that's fighting. Usually a fight's like, boom, if you hit the ground, you both get back up and you go again. I don't know what all this, oh, yeah, I'll just put it in there. Oh, submission. Fucking gross. What's, eh. So be manly. Stop hating on the world. Deal with your shit. Be content. Everyone can do it. No matter what the situation, people can do it. People have done it. It's proven. It's not an asshole quote. It's fucking reality. That's what it is. A little bit of hope, a little bit of effort. You can do anything. If you don't want to do all the effort and have a little bit of hope, then just bitch. Sit there and bitch. I don't care. I'll bitch with you. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, be content. Kill yourself. I hate the world. <laughs> Adolf Hitler cocksucking. Uh, 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 that's what I think of you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, poop that. Turn that into a gay joke about me. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, I'm gonna have to hang myself. Someone on the internet. So I, to... I gotta do this. Fuck, this video is going longer than I expected. Real quick on this one. Kill yourself over comments on the internet. Get the fuck over yourself, you're not that important. No one gives a shit about you in the grand scheme of things. Just be content with what you have. Someone calls you a fag. Well, firstly, do you take the orifices of other people of the same sex and put them in your mouth or inside your body? No, you don't? Well then you're not gay. So why the fuck does the comment affect you? I'm ugly. Are you ugly? Are you really ugly? Do you know how a mirror works? I oh, but I have vanity issues. Made up. Bullshit. Vanity issues also made up. That's for the next episode. It is. I'll talk more about that then. For now. I'm gonna say mad as a goat. You wanna say it? No, okay, I'll do it. Mad as a goat. You can say it now if you want. It's all cool, man. Just be content.